and what interactions were just plain dumb. Oh no, we got Baron up tilt. It's in the wrong order, but I guess that's alright to start this off. Um, alright, they both decided to go PS2 for the first round in this game. Um, yep, and typical fashion, both of these players would start off with laser right off the bat. Uh, JFK getting the first uh, combo down, getting Frosty to 41%. Um, Frosty opting himself to put himself in the corner. All right. Now, contrary to popular belief, up tilt is not a very good combo starter at zero. Like, I think in the Falco meta, it's pretty much optimized that you'd. W oh my God! He almost got that uh, phantasm spike. Yo, three Falcon, one sheep player. Yo, let's go. <laughs> um, Frosty almost taking the first stock here. Uh, going for the little risky edge guard, but he had enough time to recover back with Firebird. Frosty getting the up bear, taking the stock off JFK from the top. That was very impressive. Why Why did they put the ditto on stream? Very interesting. I have no idea, but I'm commentating it too, which is hilarious. Um, <laughs> Falcons, it man. is pretty even. Now, I was saying earlier that whoever w takes the first stock generally wins the game, but it's still pretty even. It's hard to tell now, yeah. You get your basic 0 to 57 here, um, and it's not going to be hard for um, JFK here to make it back either. Although, he's at 84. Yeah, he's, one he's opening, he'll probably even it up. Yup, here we go. Doesn't get an, as much percent here. And I was talking to them <laughs> like earlier, right before this game started. Uh, you, you usually start off with like a lot of laser and reflector, and it's whoever gets annoyed by it first makes the first interaction. Almost gets the F smash, JFK. Yeah, that was close. But... Frosty recovered just high enough that it wouldn't hit. Not gonna get a two frame option, JFK. Damn, he DI'd away go. from the bear, but still gets hit with the up air anyways. Very nice reaction from Frosty. This is so interesting, because Falk is not really known for his neutral. So it's just a matchup of characters Who, not known for their neutral. It's whoever's <laughs> advantage state is much better, and who's ever disadvantage is better. For real. Um, it's JFK evened this up. He's only down 42. Well, now 54. Oh, my God. Frosty chill. Okay. Frosty looks like he has a lot more matchup in the ditto than uh, Dan does. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, All I right. can't imagine either of them have a ton. But, yeah, Frosty looks a little more well-versed for sure. He's beaten me in the ditto before. Oh, you two have played? Mm-hmm. Have you played JFK? Uh, Pre-pandemic, I've also played uh, JFK, and I won the ditto there. So, oh, okay. But we all, can, like, we all agree. It's whoever, like, wins the interactions first. Um, and so far, it's been looking like Frosty this game, but we're really close right now. Frosty didn't go for a down air there, but... <laughs> yeah, there well, Frosty went for the down air there and takes the game. Yeah, I also agree. The, the, the dare was... Like, when you see Firebird at that angle, like, there's no reason for you to be, to not run off and Smack him down, yeah. yeah. Where do you think they're going to go? Um, generally, I like to ban, like, FD in general, but, like, other than that, like, any other stage is really good. Um, I would probably say Battlefield is the likely answer, but... Smashville? Yep, that is, uh, JFK's comfort pick is Smashville. I believe it. I wonder if he's going to stay Falco. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes, they gentlemen's to the ditto. No Samus today. Unlucky. Mm -mm. Um, I'd like to see what, if there's anything different that will change in JFK's plan, or um, if it's just like, you know, he just wants to clean it up here. Yeah, it was very, very, it was last hit pretty much, so. Mm -hmm. I think it was pretty close overall. Yeah, his game plan was fine. Drag down? I would have down tilted there. F tilt is like an underrated shield bully option for Falco. Um, they have a good frame data. It's pretty, yeah, it comes out pretty fast and just lightly taps the shield enough where y you can have enough time to react on what the opponent does, like out of shield. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets the rev. 
gets the roar bear and takes the stock. All that right. That was bad DI on the up throw, right? Or so he DI'd the throw correctly, but then he missed DI'd the, the back air. Yeah, the back air. Oh, okay. That's pretty huge, though. Yeah. He's running with it now. Yep. Frosty gets the bear there. That spot here. No. Oh, that's just unfortunate. Did he have his double that jump? That sucks. Yeah, that's just kind of bad reaction on Frosty. Like, if he wasted his double jump there, that was totally a loss. Um, yeah. But if not, he just didn't do the double jump. Um, I think so he might have lost it during side B. Okay, yeah. Man, that's tough. That was a hard call out. Like, unintentionally from JFK, but still gets it and running away hey, with take it. Those. Yeah. Dash attack, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a move you don't see often come out of Falco. It's a very, it's a mix up burst option. Oh, takes his double jump there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Frosty's double jumping at the wrong times there. Um, I usually like Laser 2 just to call out double jump, because then yeah. it just forces a low recovery and sets up an easy dare kill like that. For sure. So they seem to be laughing about it, not taking it too personally. No, these are these are two homies having a good time here. <laughs> I feel like all Falco players got to be homies, at least a little bit. Oh, we all are. Bird gang. Yeah. Yeah, we have the epitome of the Falco agenda right here at Game Underground. We have three Falco mains that regularly attend locals. Even more when we have uh, some people coming from New Hampshire and Rhode Island. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple up-and-coming ones. One, go. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. You think they planned that? <laughs> <laughs> they they planned the up tilt bear tags? Like... Ah, it's staged. All right. They planned it all. So... JFK still trying to use laser to call out the double jump. Frosty being a little more aware of that now. Oh yeah, you're gonna also see a lot of these trades come out. Um, like you never know what area will interact in any given moment, and you just kind of have to. Oh, bear. Oh, up there, there. Interesting. I think maybe he just wanted Frosty at that perfect percent where that kills. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. A little more stationary gameplay here, though. Um, both players respecting each other's space, while Dan is just ready to just go in with the up tilts. I definitely see what you mean, though. Once one of the Falcos gets a lead, it's kind of it's hard for the other one to come back. Yep, you have to kind of make a hard call out it in neutral if you want to come back. Ooh. All right, Frosty picking up some momentum here. JFK has really good DI on the up air. Mm -hmm. Definitely Ooh. knows what he's doing. Very good reaction with the up. All right, that fair traded with the Phantasm. Frosty was hard calling out a roll there, and it did not work. All right. Doesn't get the bear there. Still in control of this. Gets the up smash for the for the stock. He's definitely run this back. This is like one Falco combo, pretty much. Oh, why'd you spot dodge there? Falco's got some decent um, two-frame options with down tilt, down smash, and even dare if you land a hitbox correctly. Mm -hmm. um, and I know both of these players do know of those options. So that's just something yeah, to keep in mind. Even again. Wow. Yeah. All right. Up air. It's not going to kill off the top quite yet. Not at that comfy percent. That might... All right. Good DI on that. Waste the... Oh, no. Oh, he hit him with it, too. That's crazy. Yeah, Phantasm interactions are very funny when you can read the jump. I think Frosty just kind of got lucky being in the range of that double jump. Yeah. JFK getting the up smash <laughs> for the stock. That's also a fun move to land kills with. Um, just because, like, their general game plan is to kind of approach from the air. So when one of them calls that out, that's just an easy up smash. Alright, I'd say Frosty's got to kind of let Dan do the approaching if he wants to make up this percent lead. Oh, it's already closed out. I just realized this is game three. This should be, a <laughs> I feel like this is, yeah, this is definitely a lot more tense now here. Both oh. players probably feeling a little bit of nerves. Yeah, nice up tilt there from JFK earlier. Uh-oh. Uh 
Gets the up tilt bear. That's gonna take All it. All right, wow. Frosty's gonna take the set. Taking it 2-1 over John Fortnite Kennedy. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Probably not a huge upset, but it was a good set to watch. Yeah. Oh, Fango Dittos are very entertaining. Not fun to play in.